god, what the fuck? And ruin his That's some bullshit! Riku, come on, catch up! Hi, hello, hello, everyone. Let's see, Is there no music here. No, there's no music here. Um, <clears throat> but hello, hello. We are back with um, Abinogi. I got off of work early today because I worked during the weekends. <clears throat> Figured we might as well play a little bit and um <clears throat> and you know um <laughs> ah past ah he's a year <laughs> welcome in pasta uh, we're doing these, uh, advancement tests. They're kind of hard. I guess they're not, they're not, like, terribly hard, but...
Yeah, a few of the ones, like, uh, I got stuck on these two alchemy ones for a while. I think we should be good for now. <clears throat> yes, but welcome in, Pasta. All right, um, today we are going to go back to getting G1 done. Book of Revenge. The last time we were here, um, I'm really bad with names, um, but we learned that one of the heroes in a previous battle or war uh, got killed by a powerful magic attack, and he was celebrated as a hero, but uh, because he got a, he got killed by a like a horrible magic attack that I think no one is supposed to know about or that it's like I can't really remember um, they they killed his family over it to make sure that that knowledge wasn't known and so as the hero was returning back was trying to return back from from the dead, uh, he learned of his family's passing and decided to take revenge against humanity. Along with the Formers. That's where we are. We're gonna talk to Tarlark. Freaking bear man here. Grr. Okay. Ah, Moors. Moors was the man. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Helping me fill in the gaps about Moors, Twice Mod. So, Chief Duncan of Tyr Bonal asked if he could borrow Moors' book. Hmm. Well, I suppose it should be fine. The man's seen more than a few historical events in his many years, so he may be able to shed light on something we don't know. Anyway, you have my thanks for your diligent work as a go-between. You bet. That's all I've been doing in this quest is going in between. I'll turn the voices back off. I hope everyone's been doing well today. Learning more and more about this game every day. Um, and little things that work here and there. Um, I changed my character's hair with the beauty tickets, beauty coupons. And I didn't realize when I bought them that um, the beauty coupons don't stay or like. Um, it doesn't unlock the uh, the hairstyle for you. I think from what the Reddit was saying. So uh, I bought a few beauty coupons, and now they're just in my bank because I I didn't realize as I was buying the cheap the cheap beauty uh, coupons that I wouldn't be able to use them. But, that's my character for now. <laughs> Luckily they weren't that expensive, so I can keep them for whenever I want to uh, play around with it. Alright, let's go. Ah, Duncan, 
Get this mysterious stone out of here. <laughs> Alright, Duncan. So this is the Book of Revenge, is it? Let's see what Morris has written here. Hmm, I see. Hmm. Certainly not encouraging. Wait. That's where it ends? Of all the... Twice mod. I have a strong suspicion the end of this book isn't, well, the end. Based on what's there and what it comes to, and how it comes together, I'd wager there's more to it than just this volume. In fact, a few details in the foreword, foreword suggest it may actually be a three-part series. It's difficult to glean any insight into the goddess's intentions with the information provided by this book alone. Do you think you could find out if there's another volume that comes after this one? If we can get our hands on this, these subsequent volumes, we should be able to figure out how best to deal with Moors and the Goddess, and what counsel we should give the, the King of I. Alec. The King and the local lords are busy people, as you know. It's hard to get their attention based on rumor and hearsay. We need solid evidence. I'm not sure where you happen upon a translation for a book like this, but whatever your source, I ask you to inquire about the whereabouts of the other volumes. Okay. Back to Dumberton, I think. I'm gonna go back to talk to Crystal. Another volume in the series? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Though, I suppose it's not unreasonable you'd think so based on the way the opening was written. I know there are pop I know these were popular with high ranking formers, but in the doing but in doing the translation, I was actually reading it for the first time myself. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. You may want to inquire with Aria though. When it comes to books, there's no one more knowledgeable than her. My plan, let's go. Yeah, I know. Okay. Huh? You're looking for a book titled The Book of Revenge? I definitely don't have any books by that title. And I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in any publisher's listings either. I'm pretty sure I'd remember a book with an ominous sounding title like that. Wait, it's a three volume set you say? And you've got the first volume? Hmm, that does present a problem. Even if I could track it down, I couldn't sell you an entire set. And I don't know if any publisher would be willing to sell something like, like that as individual volumes. And it's written in the Falmar language? Oh dear. I don't think it'll do me any good to write to the publishers about this. I'll have to inquire with some other sources. No publisher would print a book no one can read, you know? By the by, you said your name is Twice Maud, yes? I have to say, you have some very interesting tastes in reading. But you know what? Now you've gotten me interested in this book too. I know a few adventurers and scholars, so let me ask them. See if they know anything about it. It'll take me time though, even in a town as bustling as Dumberton. I'd say at least three hours in Aaron time, but I hope to make it worth your while. And three hours has already passed. Oh, Toy Smod, I've got something for you. Remember the book I gave you before, The Land of Eternity, Tyr Nanag? Leslie, the book's author, had some information that might be of interest to you. You see, 
Leslie is a famous historian and an avid explorer besides. She sent me this note mentioning that she once saw a tome called the Book of Revenge inside the CR dungeon. And guess what? It was written in the form Formarian language. She, she also said you can offer this note to the alf altar of CR dungeon to get to where it is. The note is apparently imbued with some sort of en enchantment. And here, take this red wings of a goddess to speed you on your way. Okay, well that's nice. Awesome. Bye. Oh. Can't do anything with my pet. Come on. Oh yes, anyone here um, in chat, don't forget to redeem your daily your daily shell exchange too. Right. See how these dragons are. Whoa, big dragon. Actually, make sure I've got everything equipped. Got nothing equipped. I'm interested though. Um, how how would you all think to make these kind of streams interesting? Um, like I'm sure that they're interesting to people who might who like Mabinogi and are um, interested in the story for this. But oops, that's not what I wanted. But like, how would I make this interesting for people who just are joining in and like don't have any interest in that? Like, should I be talking about like how my day was? <laughs> like, I'm not entirely sure. Ooh. Wait, it's um. I have to use chain cylinder every time? Okay. Goblin scroll. Alright, Rari. Let's go! <laughs> We've got our little Rari. So cute. But I hope everyone had a good weekend, at the very least. You know, for now, I probably don't need, uh... Eh. Blind Rant.
Whoops. Hey, there we go. Now I can do the... Now I can go and do the thing for flame burst. Do I have anything like that? The... I do, but I don't... I should just drop these. I don't need... The weird one, one enemy things I'm never gonna fight again. Alrighty, we're here at the boss. Oh, is a flame? No, it's not there yet. Find these skeletons. <laughs> Still a little slow, but we could get it. Don't hit me. No. <laughs> All right, we got the Book of Revenge. Let's head back. get the book translated so we can continue on. So it's true that there is a book that continues the story. To be honest, I couldn't be sure it existed, but you're really amazing, Twice Spot. I'll have this book translated. Okay. Welcome back. I finished the translation. It's probably more expedient to read it yourself rather than having me try to explain it. That said, it's hard to believe some of the things written in. Um. Okay. Read. Let's skim through it again. Um. Okay, conclusion. <laughs> the fact that Goddess Morgana is on our, Morgan is on our side. Under the, her guidance, we, are, we will successfully destroy the humans that will stand in our path and reach the Holy Land. Do not live the life indulged in thoughtlessness, selfish desires. 
uh, rather live the peaceful, harmonious life. That's the life we are striving for as we fight these humans. Uh, to those that are serious about eliminating the humans, read the next volume. Okay, that's pretty simple. It says, people bad. We fight. Here we go. Let's play like a little tiny bit of music in the background. Um... So it's not so quiet. There's no music. Thank you. I don't know whether to be more surprised that, that you found the book or that you know someone who could translate it. Now let's have a look. Huh. Fascinating. I see. So that's what happened. That's why the former squirrels are were made. The former seem to have caught on to the fact that humans have grown isolated from the natural world. Now, we must find the last volume of the Book of Revenge. The formers have been preparing for another war for a very long time. Ever since the Battle of Mag Magtrudned. If my theory is correct, the third volume should tell us about their plans. At present, we cannot say anything without certainty, but we will. But if we cannot decipher their plans and put a stop to them, this land we have loved for generations may be no more. I must know what that third volume says, so I ask of you, please, please bring me the last book in the set. Of course, I feel I should once again stress that you must not speak to anyone of these things concerning the goddess. Back to Dumberton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since you're looking for the third volume, I suppose that means you've already located the second? I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about volume 3 yet. It's turning out to be a lot harder to track that down than the third volume. The distributor isn't great at managing their back catalog, and Evan told me she can't recall ever seeing that particular book. Even Leslie said she doesn't have a clue, and neither does Stuart. I've been asking around with some other contacts, but I honestly don't know how long it will take to find a credible lead. It'll take some time to turn up anything. Although this time, I don't feel entirely confident I'll find anything. There again. Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you, and with some good news too. I found someone who owns a copy of the third volume of these four more books you've been collecting. It's Lassar, the magic instructor in the school in Tir Konal. You know her, don't you? She dropped by looking for a particular book recently, and while we were chatting, I slyly slipped in a mention of it. To my surprise, she said she actually owns Volume 3 of the Book of Revenge, an original copy in Formaria, no less. I gave her a brief rundown of your situation and told her I'd send you her way. So you should pay her a visit and see what you can learn. Anyway, good luck! Over here. Did we do an authentic, um... <laughs> did we do an authentic, uh, G1 run? 
Just uh, walk everywhere or fly at least. Okay. How I did it back in middle school. Okay. Uh, might you be Ty Small? Oh, you look exactly. Oh, uh. Oh, there we go. Uh, the long and short of it, the book isn't actually mine. It belongs to Seamus, who works as a digger out at the excavation site. He said he originally found it during one of his digs in the ruins, but he couldn't read a single page. Eventually, someone told him to inquire with me if he was interested in having it translated. I appreciated the vote of confidence, but unfortunately the book eluded even my considerable knowledge. Forget it, translation. I could barely make out more than a handful of sentences. All I could really tell him for certain was the title. While I hated to admit my defeat, Seamus thankfully didn't have too put, didn't seem too put out. I just recently sent the book back to him. Actually, it's a challenge to make any sense of it, to put it mildly. So I don't know if you'll be able to get anything out of it. But if you want to take a crack at it, anyways, you can always head down to Greyrich. And borrow it from Seamus yourself. Okay. Down here. Well, I suppose you're the one Lassar said would be coming. You're looking for the Book of the Formers, then. I asked Lassar not too long ago if she'd be willing to do a translation, but she said she, but she said she couldn't. Not that I'd be able to make any practical use of it anyhow. Oh, here, you take it. I hope you're able to get some use out of it. That was quick. Let's see, actually, I've been getting AP again, so... I think I need to level up. Oh, nothing immediately that needs, um... Back to Dumberton. Is that the final, the final volume? I knew you could get this job done twice, Maud. Uh, yeah, three hours. Ah, there you are. Here's the trans. Here's the translation of the book, the last in the trilogy. Though I should warn you. This final volume contains some rather disturbing passages. No, I got to work early today because of the parade. Um, I got three hours of um, I got three hours of uh, return time, so I took it off today. Let's see. So what is this? Uh, now it's time for the world of humans to burn and disappear. Don't have enough power to exact ultimate revenge. Well, 
Let's dominate them from the very beginning and sweep over their land with ruthless abandon. Uh, do this by reviving the one being that set the human society ablaze. Glass Galbrillin. Um, it may be difficult to summon Glass Galbrillin. But it's not possible. Um, they're going to summon him. Our enemies are now at the point where their egos have reached such heights that they've forgotten who they really are. Okay, so they're going to summon a big bad. Glass Gaz Glob Goblin. Let me out of here. Let's go. Glass gobl Goblin. That can't be. Where did you hear that? It's written in the third book of the former. I'd like to read that. Uh... That's what you Glass Gob Goblin is a legendary giant. It's a monster that destroys everything in its path with pure hatred and rage. Fear of that giant cannot be expressed in words. A long time ago, Glass Goblin once destroyed all of Eren after being possessed by an evil Formian god, former god. Everyone was helpless. Even the Part Parthalons who occupied this continent were annihilated. And the survivors ended up coming to these small mountains. I'm sorry. I can't seem to focus right now. I think it might be more helpful for you to read up on the people who fought against that monster. Let's see here. It's not here. Oh, uh, don't be disappointed. I simply forgot that I let someone else borrow it. They live in Bang Bangor. What was their name again? Brrr, uh, yes, yes. A person named Bryce borrowed it. Talk to Bryce and get the book from them. Okay. Bryce? I'm going. Is that the bank? Oh. Bryce. Ah, oh, welcome to the Bangor branch of the Erskine Bank. So, you must be the one Duncan sent from Tyr Canal. sent me an owl bearing a message that brought me up to speed. I've always been in had an interest in old stories, and the chief had so many fascinating old tomes. I'm done reading this one, so feel free to take it. By the by, I learned something very interesting from this book. Reviving that monstrosity supposedly requires a the use of a mineral known as adamantine. Adamantine is a m m mystical metal that's resistant to magic, and the only source that we know of is in the mines of Bangor. The problem is, no one is mining adamant, adamantine in Bangor these days. Apparently, it's been a long time since a vein of the ore has been discovered. I can think of two possibilities that might account for this. One is that the region's adamantine ore deposits have all been exhausted. The other is that they still exist, but they are being mined without anyone's knowledge. Oh. Aren't you a smart man? Actually, open up. How far are we? So we're nearly there. I say I have no idea how long this actually is. Get this done. Harlock. 
Stop being a bear. Get attack. <gasps> ah, that's right. In, o in order to construct a, ga a glass goblin, one must excavate and assemble its bones. Any missing pieces must be substituted with a replica of the missing bone cast from pre precious adamantine. Due to adamantine's legendary resilience, it is nigh impossible to shape it manually. It must be melted down at extremely high temperatures, then cast in a mold. After that, each piece still requires a special treatment to be applied. Right now, you're probably thinking you can just destroy the bones before they finish assembling the skeleton. But let me put that idea to rest before it can even take root. There is no known way to destroy adamantine once it has set. Besides, they've long since excavated and assembled the bone. They were nearly done applying the treatment too. So it wouldn't be a, be at all surprising for the primary construction to be complete. When one looks at it from the pers from that perspective, the former invasion of Aaron is a is a matter of when rather than if. How can I be so certain? You're probably wondering. I'll tell you. It's because I have been to Tirnanag, the realm of the formers. My precious companions followed me there, to their deaths. In some ways, Tirnanag can be thought of as a mirror of Aaron. I myself don't know which is the original and which is the reflection, but the two worlds are much alike. I think it would be easier to simply show you rather than try to explain my experiences there. To that end, would you be willing to do something for me? These glasses contain my memories from back then. However, I cannot say whether such a time-worn object still retains the memories wholly intact. But if you could see Karen and Og through my eyes, you'll need, you'll need to get your hands on a magic powder of preservation. Uh, this is a useful substance that prevents wear and tear of any object it's applied to. Used on my glasses, they should keep the memory from fading. If you bring me some, I'll enchant my glasses with a spell. Um, should be able to find it deep within the field of dungeon. Use this pass, okay. Alright. I don't think I've been to this dungeon yet. Here, so let's go. snake it's a snake Snake. I do, I do have snake, snake scrolls. Alright, let's go.
go. Dang it, that's not what I wanted. Thunderbook. Oh, hey, it's a Joe. How's it going? <laughs> thank you, thank you for the raid. Oh. Uh -oh. Take it, you, you've beaten it then. Haha, -ha! congratulations. That ending is beautiful. I love that ending. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. Um, yeah, I think three five eight over two days is going to make it's going to be much more fun to watch um, because you've beaten th uh, two. Yes, but that. Uh, Thank you for the raid, Joe. Are you getting ready for work after this? Yeah, well, thank you, raiders. And anyone who's watching, definitely go follow. Ooh. We're gonna have to...
But if you haven't, um... but Chungus is faster. <laughs> <laughs> but go, go give Joe a follow as well. Um, they do some great content over there. Um, all right, what am I doing? So we're in the middle of a quest line. Um, pretty. Oh, me a cylinder. Yeah, no, Joe. Well done. <laughs> oh, let's run away. Uh oh. Stop! I'm getting beat up by flying swords. Uh oh. Oh, it's actually strong enough to do the. Oh, it's, it's actually doing damage to me. <laughs> you know, as we're getting further into this uh, Gen 1 quest. Oh, can I not blind it because it doesn't have any eyes? Can you guys please get away from me? No, I can bind the golem, and the golem definitely doesn't have eyes. Uh, let's do my, ch let's just cheat, or let's do, let's toss the Hydra out, goodbye, is it too far, oh there we go, yay, <laughs> okay, ah, control J, oops, Hello, Control J. Let's get another flying sword over here, so let's go ahead and take care of it. Ooh. the flying sword. Now it's on to summon another golem. Now we're going to bind this guy. No, Bone Tron. Bone Tone Scone. All right, summon Neuron Sheep. Too big. There we go. No, it's not. Give me another one. Oh, I actually killed Neuron Blast too. All right, let's go. Once more. There we go. Yeah, well, have yourself a good day, Joe. Uh, got a little caught up on all this. Uh, what am I doing? Here we go. Uh, oh, gotta revive a pet. 
All right, Neuron Blast, let's go. This, this dungeon is pretty dark. Open it up. Building stone. Fashion hat. I'll take it. Okay, so we're heading back to Arlark. And while we get off of Neuron Blast, we are also going to that I want to do. Oh, I want to go to the dressing room. Let's uh, unsummon you to the dressing room. Do collectible items. Fashion hat. Here we go. You've returned. You've. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, and I didn't introduce myself properly to anyone that might have come in that's new. Um, I am Twice Mod. Uh, I am a Hermit Crab VTuber. Uh, I'm mainly a variety uh, streamer, but uh, as of right now, I've been playing a lot of Mabinogi, this free Korean MMO. Um, so feel free to join me on this journey. The Tarlark. Ah, uh, you've returned with the powder. Let's see how it fares with my old glasses, shall we? I've made these glasses into a memory memory cipher that holds some of my recollections from years ago. Enchanting the glasses with the powder should be at least should at least stabilize the memories within them. Take this red wing. Okay. We are heading into a new dungeon. For my boy Tarlark. Oh, yeah, you guys want to see my character? <laughs> my little guy? It's how I'm my little guy. Oh, and uh, I can do this too. Like it's me. You got a little shell backpack. Listening to the ocean. It's so cute. And then there's my little little partner, Rari. He's a little puppet that will collect pup that will collect uh, weapons for me. He'll collect gold for me. Oh, very cute. There's a big Rari right there. <laughs> uh. Okay. So, this is Tir Nonag? You know, uh, isn't this, you know, a bit too creepy? We're not really in Tier Nanag, are we? I'm afraid we are, Mari. I've checked several times already. I thought you said this was some kind of paradise where people's wishes come true. Believe in the goddess, Rari. You saw her in your dreams, right? I'm certain she guided us here for a reason. This place must owe its grim, grim look to the fact that the Formars have been leeching power from the captive goddess. Once we've reached the goddess, our wishes will finally come true. If you say so, Tarlark. I guess I've got to accept it for now. Technically, it's the goddess we're trusting more so than Tarlark. 
But on that note, if we save the beautiful goddess, she's definitely going to reward me for it, right? Nice. Come on, Tarlark. I've got your back all the way. Rari, thank you. And you, and to you as well, Mari. There's not much further we to go now. Then, finally, we'll be we'll have brought about the advent of Tir Danag with our own hands, and with it, paradise for all mankind. Come on. I hope I don't have to play as Tarlark. I want to play as Rari. I am playing as Mari instead. Okay. Uh, do magic shot, revolver, and that's probably all I need, I guess. Probably take counter attack just in case. Oh my goodness! Look at your little, look how fast she walks. It's <laughs> just a little gremlin. All right, Mario, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this actually sucks by myself. Um, so the original, um, this is the first storyline in this game. Um, but the original storyline required you to have three people in your party to do this, I think. But now they've just made it to where you can do it with, with uh, Solo. And I can definitely see why they wanted you to have three people. Oh! There's an ad break. Okay. But oh, I see. Okay. All right, let's go. Come on. All right, we should be back from ad break. Um, you guys haven't missed much. This rat, no! <laughs> Gonna get owned by a rat. All right, it's fine. Downstairs. Ooh, something happened. Awaited your arrival, interlopers. Those who would dare challenge the goddess must be destroyed. We will not allow you to disgrace our land. Now, come. This isn't even the boss yet. Gonna get on so hard. Boom. All right, let's go. Ah, 
perhaps I've underestimated you. But this is far from over. I can see it. Your very futures. I see one who must rel relinquish all she has. One who attains that which he desires but cannot bear the burden. And one destined to live out the rest of his life, anguished in both body and mind. Ha 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 ha. Fools. The curse of the goddess shall hang over you all shall hang over you all the days of your lives. He dis he faded like a Windows movie maker effect. Alright, let's see what this is. Whoa. Ew. That thing gives me the heebie jeebies. Impossible. A glass goblin? Wait. You know what that thing is? It's one of the fiends that ravaged Aaron in ancient times. But why is it being revived here, of all places? Tir Nanag is supposed to be a paradise itself. I can scarcely be I can scarcely believe what I'm seeing. Hmm. What are they hiding in this treasure chest? Tarlark, take a look at this book. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't make anything out. It's written in Formarian, which I can't speak or read. My old master might have been able to. Young adventurers, I bid you return what you hold back where you found it. Who's there? Show yourself! Wait, I know that voice. Is it really you? It's Moors. Master Moors, you've been alive all this time? Huh. Tarlark? You know this old man? Is he the Master Tarlark's been going on about all, all this time? Master, what is this place? Aren't, aren't we in Tir Nanag? Why are you reviving such a monstrosity? And why here? Tell me, Master, what's going on here? I feel com I feel compelled to tell you that there are things in this world that young people like yourself will never understand. I fear you've seen too many things you should never have witnessed. Forgive me, Tarlark. Master, please answer me. Seize them, but don't be so rough, or don't be too rough. Ah! <laughs> Damn! What the hell is this? You want a piece of me? Come on! Oh, okay, let's go. We're gonna fight this. Ma Mari? Stop! I command you not- I commanded you not to harm them. You're being too rough. Morgan! I knew it! Huh? Th that's the goddess? She's beautiful. It's Morrigan. Dark Lord, these are the very humans that stand in defiance of order and peace. They have disobeyed my divine, divine will, daring to set foot in this realm. Would you let this offense go without reprimand? I, Morrigan, the goddess of war and vengeance command you, take their heads and lay them before me. What? No! Stop this! No! Everyone's getting killed! Wait, you're- wait, where am I? 
Is this the land of farmers? Don't worry. You're in the Rappy Dungeon, where we first met. But Mari... Where is she? And Rari? Have you seen them? Huh? No. You were alone. I found you collapsed on the ground. Unconscious. Lies! There's no way I escaped alone. I have to find my friends. They mean everything to me. They trusted me. Where are they? It breaks my heart that you don't believe me. I, I need to go. I have to find my friends. There's not a moment to lose. <laughs> I don't think you're going anywhere in the condition you're in. You may look fine, but you're suffering from some serious internal injuries. That doesn't matter. You certainly can be stubborn, but if you go back, you'll never be able to return. Why are you helping me? What does it matter to you? Don't you remember what you told me? Love isn't about getting someone to submit to you. I may be a former, but I truly do want to learn more about love, even if it's one slow step at a time. to Tarlark. So, you took my glasses to the Rappy Dungeon. I take it you've seen it all then. What you saw is exactly what I experienced back then. There were no traces of Mari or Rari anywhere. Moors was able to get me out. I tried in vain to go back and find them. But alas, even events or those events damaged my ability to exert careful control over Mana. None of that. Or because of that. I can no longer use any advanced magic. And I had to remain in the form of a bear during the day as well. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I could use magic so freely before, and I still know all the spells I knew then, but my life as a mage and as a druid ended on that day. It died alongside, along with my beloved companions, Mari and Rari, and all these years later, I still cannot find any forgiveness in my heart for the goddess. Even Crystal's devotion wasn't able to uh, assurge the anger I felt. One day, I finally realized I didn't wish to be a burden on Crystal no anymore. For one who went so far as to betray her own kind in pursuit of true love, spending her life with a man like me would teach her more of love's pains than its joys. She deserved better. Now, do you understand why I cling to this meager life with such tenacity? I'll rip that mask of hypocrisy off the goddess's face and see that the farmers and that traitor moors pay for what they've done. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hey honey, Jackbox Games! Yeah, justice for Crystal! Hate this man, Tarlark. Tarlark! I haven't seen his story through the end, but you feel a little bad for him, but like... Or like, you, you do feel bad for him, but... I don't know. Like... He just needs... I don't know what he needs. I don't know what he wants. I bet... The man just wants to... Stay secluded and be a bear. Can't even be bothered to get out and try to help me. Mm -hmm. 
See, that's what happened to Tarlark. It's hard to believe, but what else can I believe? In that case, I have something to tell you too. I am fully intended to take this secret to the grave. So please don't share it with anyone. Can you promise that? Duncan's a little bit of like a weird, uh... He's almost like one of those like stereotypical, like, village chiefs. Where he freaking has something to hide. And he's... <laughs> I think in this case, he's trying to be more... Like... Like, he's... Duncan might actually be doing it for the greater good, I guess, of, like, keeping things quiet. But, you know, like, so many of those things where they're like, don't tell anybody that we did this. It's, 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 it's to protect the people. But in reality, he's, like... He's, like, got a bunch of skeletons in his... He's, like, got a bunch of skeletons in his closet. Ugh. Okay. Tarlark said that they... That went... That when he went to Tyr Nanog... Morris tried to save them at the last second, right? I doubt that was only because of Tarlark. Mari. It's most likely because of Mari. Mari's is Morris' only daughter, and Morris recognized her. Recognized she was his daughter. I knew his late wife, Sheila. She was killed by humans who had been pressed on by nobles. But Mari was brought to me with the help of a few deer. <gasps> deer! Mari's memory of her parents were personally erased by her mother. It, it would mean death for her to remember her parents, so I raised Mari myself. Now, I think I've told you enough about this story. Everything follows except the goddess stuff. You don't actually agree with Tarlock about the goddess, do you? I've asked some other people. Don't tell them what you think, but just listen. To see if the goddess is someone who'd, who'd betray humankind. And I'll remind you one more time. Please keep what I told you about Mari a secret. I like I know that that's... Oh, um... Like, for... For all instances, let's say, like... Mari is dead as far as everyone knows this happened a long time ago so what does it matter or i don't know it's very strange very cryptic oh twice mod you're here take this i found it while clearing my house i called for you because of this you know how i said i raised mari myself she was brought to me by a pair of deer one white and one brown she was wrapped tightly in a blanket. In the blanket was a letter from her mother, Sheila, asking me to take good care of her, along with the item I just gave you. The letter went on to say that when Mari becomes an adult, I should give her this memento so she can regain her, her memory, and that she should take it to Math Dungeon. And Sheila said that even if she died, she would imbue Mari's memory in it. But now, since Mari doesn't need it anymore, I'm giving it to you. It might be related to Moors. Or it might help you in your search for Tyr Nanog. Or so I hope. Uh, thank you. Thank you? Alright. Playing as Moors again? Sheila. Ah, you're alive, dear. You've grown gaunch since I last saw you. You must have endured a lot. Moors? Don't you recognize me, dear? 
Your wife? Wars is booking it too. Wars isn't booking it as fast as as Mari, but he's still booking it. Man's running. I think this is where my brother was yesterday. I saw him playing this part yesterday, I think. Alright, perfect. I need to rest. There's no end to this. I've been going in circles for ages. Don't you remember the promise we made to each other? Blech. We vowed we would meet again, no matter what. I'm here to honor that promise. Don't worry. Mari is safe. You know, I really missed you. So many times, I wanted to talk with you. Honey, can you not see me? Please, look at me. Spending those couple months unconscious really took its toll. I need to conserve my energy energy is this the way out of here i can't stop now i must return i swore to sheila upon this torque that i would return safe that would surely return i'll make it back to sheila i must and then i'll ask my old comrades I'll ask them why they betrayed me. Why they stabbed me in the back. This is just for fun. Alright, let's go. Bye. Oh, it's already there. Did it take more than one hit? There we go. On to the boss.
We finally found you, Moors. I ask that you come with us peacefully. You may yet draw breath, but you're still a dead man walking. Their own... Didn't this happen already? Hey, foul things that clout yourself in human guise. You would dare provoke a wizard's wrath? Like deja vu of me. Ooh, I want to get all of them. Oh, I can't. That's enough, Mords. There's no cause to involve yourself in another me. Huh? Thank I feel like... Oh, this is Sheila being- Sheila being with him. You're quick to- oh, uh... Moors, my dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, the music. The music. Something's not right. Whoa. That's... Chichol. Ch Chichol? No. How could the farmer's evil god have survived? No, this is not Tirnanag. We've seen this before then. Sheila, snap him. Don't listen to him, dear. This is there's no sorrow deep enough to justify stroking a hate hatred of all mankind. Please. He's just trying to use you. No. What are you even saying? You are not Morgan. You mustn't fall for this farce, my dear. Please, sense me. See me. Oops. And right back over to Duncan. Come on. We. Is 
Is this true? Is that really the memory that was held within Sheila's memento? The goddess was white-winged and wearing a mask. There's no doubt. That was Chichol. I had my suspicions when I heard about the ghost armor and Dark Knights, but I never really thought he could be alive. Chichol is one of the former gods. He's the instigator of all evil. He also brought Glad's goblin into this world to destroy our ancestors. He brought Krom... Krom Crouchen to wrath. He cost the goddess her, her life in Eren. Yes, yes, this explains everything. Here is my theory. A game theory. <laughs> when the goddess was creating barriers in the dungeons, Chichil petrified her and took her in to Tir Nanag under his rule. Then, he pretended to be the goddess to rally the forces of evil, and tricked Moor into aiding his cause. Clever. That also explains why Morrigan now calls upon you. She desperately needs your help. Hurry, we must find the way to Tir Nanag and save the goddess. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, talk to Tarlark. Wait, that wasn't the real Morgan? White Wing, with her face covered. Can't believe it. I've been deceived. How is it that I never picked up on it? It must be Chichul, the god of the formers. Of that I have no debt. I'll never forgive what he's done. He, de he deceived not only my friends, but my master as well. Even the goddess herself wasn't able to escape his grasp. Thank you for bringing this to light, Twice Mod. I'm ashamed to have doubted the grace of the goddess. Even... no. Especially because of my power as a druid. Crystal was right. Morgan really is in danger. Twice. Please, go to Tir Danag. I'm ashamed to have to ask you. But everything is, your hand is in your hands now. You must rescue the goddess. Help. Is anyone is there anyone who can hear me? As Glass Gob Goblin will soon be revived. A Titan knowing not but destruction. The adamantine necessary for its resurrection has long been prepared. The sample is almost complete as well. Yeah. We have precious little time remaining. Sleepy, sleepy. When life once again courses through the avatar of destruction's veins, Aaron's last days shall be shall have come. Hearken to my words. Come and defeat the glass goblin. Save me from this place. Ooh, this pendant. The key to the door. Hurry. Ooh. You had a dream about the goddess again? She told you that the resurrection of the glass goblin is imminent? As I suspected, Moors must be behind the efforts to resurrect a glass goblin. It troubles me that we don't even have a contingency plan for how to deal with such a threat. I may have forgotten to mention this, 
but the metal adamantine is nearly immune to magical energies. So as you can imagine, that creates its own raft of issues when fused with magical creatures or constructs. That is why, for this purpose, special spe specimens are required. The souls of humans who have exhibited great courage. It's even possible that, thanks to the three missing warriors visit there, the souls have already been made ready. If their preparations are that far along, then we have desperate then we desperately need to figure out how to stop it. Hurry and find a way there. Find a way there? Ow. Oh, I have to Crystal is like the MVP of this whole thing. She just wanted to be loved. She just wanted to, to learn what love was and um, ended up getting caught in this whole giant war. If, if Tirid or Nog truly is the land of the Formers, I suppose it doesn't hurt to tell you. After all, I've already betrayed the Formers. The land of the Formers is a dangerous place. You will find no aid there save for your own self and any willing to make the trek with you. Every step of the journey would tax and torment an ordinary human. Still, I'll tell you the way to the place called Tir Nanag that Tarlark speaks of. This former pass is of a type used only by high-ranking formers. Take these wings as well to speed you on your way. Okay. Where are we now? We're getting there! O oh, warrior pursuing the restoration of Morrigan. I bid you make haste. Even now, the embers of destruction grow hot beneath Aaron's foundation. Already they have fashioned from the metal of your, your world great and heavy bones for the Colossus and whose wake the world would shut up once more. Even now, the hour draws nigh when it shall be summoned forth. My body is bound by the powers of the five magic stones. I have not the power to halt the glass goblin's resurrection. I need your help. If the seal of the other world prevents your passage, then... Band together with three others with strength akin to yours, and together you shall possess a power greater than any lone warrior. At the head of such a trio, go forth and break the seal that leads to the other world. Oh, this might have been the one that I got stuck on. Ah. I entreat you, stop the revival of the Glass Goblin. Destroy the five magic stones that bind me. Time is short. Coming is imminent.
Apple. Dang it. I want to walk. Ooh, strawberry seed. Alrighty, let's go. We have at least one seal breaker amongst all the others. Go. Oh. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, look how look how handsome he is. It's Dougal. <laughs> You're quite brave to come to a place like this. I'm Dougal. Here alone. You are not from around here, are you? I am Dougal. The last human here. It's been a while since I've seen anyone. It does get rather lonely sometimes. You're wondering why I keep this lonely vigil? Well, it is complicated. But let us say I'm not here by choice. Ah, so you're curious if this is Tyr Nanag, as in the paradise of legend? Haha, <laughs> didn't expect such a na naive question. Surely you have hot eyes, do you not? If this truly were a paradise where sickness and death held no sway, do you think my legs would be as you see it? Look at the town around you. It was destroyed by a former raid. That should answer your question. I don't know what manner of rumors you've heard, stranger. But let me back and tell you plainly. This is not the land you seek. It is merely another world claimed by the formers. Still... If you're curious, feel free to look around as much as you like. Even here, you may find echoes of some familiar time or place. 
as someone who is not native to this world, I suspect that you were that if you were to lose control of your body here, you would find the experience more than a little troublesome. Indeed, apart from your party, none can lend you any direct aid here. Even if you fall, the flame of your life depleted. Without the aid of some special object to bind your soul here, you will return to your own world if defeated. It's only natural, as an existence foreign to this domain. Hmm. Do you know anything about the soul, te soul tethering phenomenon? It refers to the pros propensity of a displaced soul to remain close to its physical body, because it cannot fully leave that of which it is once a part of. It occurred to me that I might be able to make use of this very phenomenon to fix to help fix your soul to this world. At least for a time. It's dreary, probably. Hello, hello. Um, am I winning? I suppose so. I'm winning the dungeons. <laughs> but we're in uh we're in a weird shadow realm where our soul is not part of this world. Um, however, dealing with souls is not exactly a simple matter. Just the opposite, in fact. An undertaking fraught with danger. If something goes even slightly amiss, you may end up not unlike those zombies shuffling around the graveyard. That is why I'd like to ask you something something of you first, to see if my speculation has any merit. Zombies are, by their nature, soulless beings. So if you defeat them, I should be able to gauge the force of the soul-tethering phenomenon they exhibit. Then I'll know whether you would be able to revive here. How does that sound? Okay. So you want me to kill zombies? Weird, he's just got dingo. Dingo for more scrolls. Um, okay, I guess we'll go and do that. But how are you doing, Dreary? Welcome in. Look at these zombies. Where's zombies? Oh, uh, Blanid, you can go. Oh! Okay, that makes sense. So quiet. Owls! Just as I suspected. I can make use of the soul tethering phenomenon to help your soul remain in its place. If you place your trust in me, I promise you will not join the ranks of the undead. Even should even should you fall here. This is due to my body and mind communicating with you with enough strength to anchor you here temporarily, allowing you to revive in this world. I can't say you look entirely comfortable with the idea. You needn't hide your discomfort. It is not unexpected. Still, you can return here now. You can now return here if you are ever incapacitated. Keep that in mind and you will be able to explore this world with a bit more gusto. We're going to head to Albi Dungeon. Hard of these dingoes to kill. No, not hard at all.
Why dingoes? Now I'm gonna drop that. Eh, I just did it. I'll be dungeon. What am I doing? Use a small green gem to collect black orb at Albi Dungeon. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Gargoyles! We're gonna buy the black orb. Black orb. Okay, let's go. Here are my neighbors. I think they're chainsawing stuff outside. So.
just the one. Off we go. Whoa, look at all these guys. Let's go. And since it's been a little while, don't forget anyone who hasn't uh, redeemed their daily shell exchange, feel free to go ahead and do that. It lets me know. Um, it's a fun little way for you to know your own self too, of um, how many times you've been in stream. This is a dead end. A little quiet on this, uh, this part of it now. But this is really cool to see like a alternate, like a parallel world. Um, see what we're used to, like a parallel or tier canal. Hi, Gremlin. Goodbye, Gremlin. Alright, about page one. Imagine key. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Makes to see a dungeon that's a little bit more complex.
Alrighty. We're getting there, folks. She free? Okay, we'll wait a second. Everyone should be in ad breaks right now, so. And everyone should be back. I think. All right. So if everyone's back, the Morgan, uh, Morgan, we just beat that dungeon. Uh, thank you. Your will and courage have won my freedom from the after these many years. I would gladly see your efforts repaid, but it seems now is not an opportune time. The revival of the Avatar of Destruction approaches. A glass, a gas, a glass goblin, one of the titans of legend. They are fiends that ruin, that leave ruination in their wake. Long ago, they were deprived of their very soul. Their wills bond, bound. Their hulking bodies were an empty vessel, imbued with, with the summoner's desires that all be laid waste, that Aaron and Tyr Nanag alike should be raised without mercy. Find the soul torn from this glass goblin. He has settled in this land, clad in a human body. Take my pendant to him. Go and tell him that his true body, the body of the glass goblin, will soon be revived. Then he will surely help you. I cannot currently, I cannot presently aid you, but I shall grant you blessings in my name, the blessings of the goddess Morrigan. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Is it the guy? Is it Douglas or whatever his name is? Google. All right, let's go. I wonder, let's explore this area a little bit. I wonder how far they actually, like how far can I go? I doubt they'll let me go past this, right? Saw dingoes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <gasps> Giant worm! Kill it! Okay, so nothing's super spectacular around. Can I harvest some ghost corn? Alright, let's go talk to Dougal. Sky, 
all of a sudden, something changed. Pasta! How's it going? <laughs> What are you up to right now? The guy just said that. Why tell me? Ooh, the best nap? That sounds good. A nap does sound pretty good right now. I'm glad you had a good nap. That answers many questions. Or, that answers many questions I, ha I have long had. The soul tethering phenomenon that I used before to anchor you more fully to this world was acting upon myself as well. Though it appears you've realized it already. already. Did you come to tell me because you already know? Indeed. I am a soul who hails from another world, just as you are. My true self is known among you as one of the glass goblins. I came to this world to, to retrieve my body, which was summoned here against my will by the humans who dwell here. Alas, I wound up in this sorry state, bound to the last human left here, frailties and all. Getting around with this lake has been no end of trouble. With the knowledge you've brought me, I feel I ought to make good on my original intention. The goddess likely realized I would, and still sent you to me. My purpose now is to win the freedom of my true body, and send it back to my home world by serving the present bonds that hold it here. The pendant of the goddess is a key that allows one to pierce the veil between worlds. If you would like, I can engrave a pattern that should guide you toward my body. It has been calling to me. Still, I am uncertain whether I can place my trust in you as you are. Under the command of the summoner, my body would likely be able to destroy a human as easily. Are you certain you can defeat my body and return to where it came from? What do you want me to do, boy? Uh, I thought me having the nap answered question. <laughs> yeah. It very well, it very well could have. Give Doug, Dougal the pendant of the goddess and have the pattern engraved. It... Very well. Then I shall place my trust in you. As one who was able to save the goddess, I may as it may be worth a try. Offer up the engraved pendant on the altar to the Albi dungeon, and I'm sure you will need no guidance. Um, should you succeed, it will then be but a matter of time before the effects of the soul tethering phenomenon ebb. When the forces binding me to this place are no more. Okay. I like that he was like, how can I trust you? If I'm really going to offer this job to you, you'll need something to convince me. And then I just go, I can do it. He's like, oh, perfect, I trust you. <laughs> then again, the man's been here forever now, so. I'll fight this final boss for this G1 thing, I think. We can get G1 done today. That'll be awesome. Yeah, the nap lore. Oh. Just to get it out of the way. Drop. Oops. Oh, 
What? Nothing even spawned. How weird. Okay. How's your day going, uh, pasta? This is a boss already? Well, dang! They were just like, let's go. You're fortunate to have made it this far, but your journey ends here. Dude, this thing is so cool looking. None shall hinder the revival of the glass goblin. May the blessing of the goddess Morgan be upon me. Ooh, he's gonna take two hits. Just blind him. Dead. <laughs> Glads is your wife? Oh, man. Glads is so cool. Oh, look at all the rats run! Run, 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 rats! <laughs> The time we have long awaited for is upon us at last. We shall see the end of Aaron. I shall grant one you one last one final mercy. You will be the you will have the honor of being the first to fall before the might of the revised glass goblin. Die, interloper. Pay the penance for your transgressions. Dark Lord. He's like an <laughs> You arrived earlier than I had anticipated. I must commend you for that. Alas, the glass goblin has already been revived. Don't be too disappointed. You are per perhaps uniquely qualified to serve as a test of the resurrected titan's power. Indeed, the blood of the spirited adventurers, just like yourself, were quite helpful in speeding the resurrection's process. Now, there is nothing that can stop the human realm from burning to cinders. Whoa! Uh, look at it! Look at it! Big old Goro ass. Lana, you gotta get out of here. I wanna fight this thing myself. <laughs> Look at him. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, I don't want it to kill it. I, I, I don't want to kill it too fast. I'm gonna try to like enjoy this a little bit. This looks this is so cool. I wanna see what I can do. Like what I would have been fighting up against. Whoa. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, man. Oh, was he healing his health? Oh, he's healing his health. Look at that. All right. Ooh. Oh, I love that it's like a remix of the opening of the opening theme of the uh, login title. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> Hydra killed it for me. Oh my. You actually defeat managed to defeat the glass goblin? Truly, you have exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Run! She's not the real goddess. She's a fake. Ah, uh, did you just figure it out now, Moors? I suppose the dullness of human wit that lends far too much credence to a thing's appearance holds e true the, even for a great wizard. <laughs> How disappointing. You obviously harbored misgrievings enough to revive the glass goblin in a weakened state. But then how is it you took this long to voice your doubts about my identity? Chichol, you snake! I could feel your foul presence behind this. How dare you impersonate the goddess? I had a hunch, but when you ordered me to kill Tarlark and Mari, it was then that I suspicion became, un became certainty. This man doesn't even know Rari. Didn't even men didn't even mention him. <laughs> you you finally you truly realized it then. You should have acted. It is too late for you now. Is it? Your scheme has failed, Chichol. The glass goblin has fallen. Give yourself up and beg for mercy. You are telling me to beg for mercy? I see you at least retain a sense of humor. Do you really think a god would have any need to beg clemency of mortals? Or might it be that in defeating the glass goblin, you believe you've thwarted my plans in their entirety? Come now. Surely your vaunted wisdom must at least esteem me more candy than that. Your bluffs can't faze me anymore, Cretan. You deserve to be wiped from the face of this planet. Ha! You think this is a feint? You are as pathetic as you are foolish. This was but the beginning, a single branch of the tree. You should know even better than I what happens when a glass goblin falls, yes? It, it can't be. Oh, you're on. You're gonna self-destruct? <gasps> oh. The destruction of Urg, leading to the linking of the two worlds. Now I see. Was this your plan all along, Chichol? All along? Of course. All roads were to lead to this. You used me. None of this would have been possible without the glass goblin I labored to revive. I may be almost as culpable as you. Almost. This boy said almost. And for that sin, I'm willing to atone, even if it should cost my life. I'll bring the curtain down on everything, including you. It's truly pitiful. 
pitiable to see you casting about, wizard. But do not think to drag me into it. Your sins are your own to suffer. But what you call sin, I call deliverance. This land must be cleansed of the plague of mankind, and I would be glad to start with you, along with those accursed interlopers. Is that a challenge, Chichul? I may not be sp as spry as I once was, but I have devoted my life to the practice of wizardry. A god you may be, but I warn you, you underestimate me at your peril. Get him, Moors! <laughs> oh, we gotta leave. You can't beat him as you are. My, <laughs> My guy's just smiling. Moors! Mors is gonna die for real this time. Was that all you could muster, Mors? Magic is woven of mana, and mana is born of the gods. No matter the greatness a mortal being might achieve, theirs will ever be but a pale imitation of the absolute. So frail, he lacked even the strength to keep himself alive. As with him, so it goes with all humans. And now, only you remain. Are you afraid? Fear will not avail you. You can, but curse your destiny, mortal. Born of the dust, doomed to perish. You can but curse your destiny. Born of the dust, doomed to perish. <laughs> In the name of the goddess, I command you to stop. Ah, if it isn't War Morgan, that whelp must have been busier than I expected. I didn't expect one so frail to actually free the goddess. You have clad yourself in my image and thrown the world of man into disarray. As the goddess of vengeance, I have come to collect my price for your office for your offensives. Ha ha ha! I neither showed nor spoke any falsehood. I merely borrowed your form to make the truth easier for the wretched mortals to grasp. Have you seen how they cling so tightly to their hatreds, fighting and killing each other? Where is the lie? The misery that lies upon mankind is that which they heap upon themselves. You are the inheritor of the Balor's will, chosen to lead the Falmers. Why must you so abhor the world of man? After two great wars, do you truly still yearn to see more blood spilt? Such conflict would, will remain the lives of your enemies, yes. But does it not also cost the lives of countless formers? You seem to misunderstand, Morgan. The annihilation of mankind is a necessary first step towards the creation of a true paradise. The blood of the formers is valuable only in so far as it can further that cause. Balor disregarded that truth, which pr proved his downfall in the end. I, however, am different. I understand that the laws that govern this world can only be brought, by the, brought to perfection once mankind has been eradicated. You cannot expect me to, be to believe you're wholly unaware, Morgan. As a god, you should already know that the will of the supreme god that gave us life. Chicho, you poor thing. Only you would try to justify your own ends in the name of 
beings far beyond your station. You intentionally malign the god's will. You may be a god, Morgan, but I see you've come to share the mortal's facile way of thinking. Pathetic. No. I fully understand your intentions, Chichul. However, as you well know, I am a goddess of vengeance. And now, my gaze is upon you. For the indignity I suffered being sealed away, for the years of sorrow, you will pay a price. I hope you are ready. In the state you are in, you were just freed from the seal. No, we will not settle this today, Morgan. I will deal with you when next we meet. I will at least commend you, frail one, for besting the glass goblin. Be sure that I will not be sure that I will not forget this day. <laughs> hmm. I came as soon as I was able, but even so, it seems I arrived too late. I hope you are all right. And even then, you bested the glass goblin on your own. Thank you. Yet, even with the glass goblin defeated, these matters are far from finished. In fact, one could say this is but the beginning. No sooner has the dust from your battle settled that the truer problems come into view. The dark mana the glass goblin released as it fell is a strange energy of a sort that converts the natural order of Aaron. It warps the space around it, creating a path that links Aaron in this other world. <laughs> He went. That was what Chichol sought from the beginning. He desired to send the Dark Lords into Aaron directly, bypassing the wards of the dungeon entirely. It is now inevitable that the Dark Mana will shatter those seals, and the two worlds will eventually be merged into one. Return to Aaron, and there help the mortal races ready themselves for the former invasion, for they will surely come, sooner or later. I will seal off this place, but I cannot serve as Bastion and Bulwark for Aaron alone. I fear Chichol's greed will end up setting the world ablaze. Please, ensure that no one else has to follow the path Moors had to take. <laughs> Encourage the people of the world to grow in wisdom and might that they may stand against Chichol and the former's attempt to weigh lace to Aaron. Indeed, it is for that purpose that Mari... Mari... Mariota, or rather, Mari, the shepherd of the soul stream, brought you to this world. The lie to Aaron... The way to Aaron lies open. Go now, until we meet again. May the blessings of Lem Lemiark and Aton Ch Chimney attend you. I will appear before you when the time is right. Vice Mod, remember the path you have chosen to walk this day. In all the days to come, the path to Aaron's guardian, veiled in light. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pass the dude, G1 is. For as quick as I was able to get through it. It's pretty good. Like, 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 um, overall, I would say the story is pretty short, I guess, overall. Uh, because I'm able to just zip back and forth through everything now. But man, like, that's pretty cool.
the black rose. Luckily, I can go right back into it. Mabinogi, Mag Mabinogi Masterpiece. I do think it's interesting that they were so... Well, I guess back in the day it would have been way harder, but just like, it's so interesting that... Um, I... I don't remember there being a scene where we got something that was strong enough to take down the Glass Goblin. Because they were talking about how strong it was. And... That like, it had, you know, it was... It was it was resistant to magic, and um, it's made out of like super strong um, ore. But we never got like a thing, I don't believe. Like like an actual like story item that allowed us to kill it. Oh no, no, my, I guess it was just the help of the the spirit guy. I, I don't know. Either way, we were able to take it down. So cool. What's even cooler is the setup, just... It's just the beginning of the MMO, so it's like... It's the two deer. Is that the music from the dungeon? <laughs> Hasa, are you just talking about the lore in the in the in-game books? Or are there like actual physical books that um have extra lore? Oh, all the in-game books, yeah. Oh! Night of Light. Hey, look at that. Cool. Hooray, we beat it! Can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? Twice mod. Do you hear me? <laughs> Cat. The ranks of the Falmers are swelling. The Dark Lord is gathering his forces. At this rate, the Falmars will soon sweep over the blessed lands of Aaron.
Follow the path of the Guardian of Light. Protect Aaron. Remember, the path of the Guardian of Light is one of endurance, of patience, of penance. Go to Imein Maka, Maka, the hallowed birthright of the Knights of Light. These brave souls who seek to defend Aaron from the formers gather there, and there shall you find the path. Your name is the immutable hope of Aaron. If you do not hope, if you do not find the power to safeguard mankind while Chichol replaced, replenishes his power, Aaron's future will, will lie shrouded in darkness. I ask of you, make your way to Imain Macha and become the Guardian of Light. Hello, Belladonna Nightshade. Welcome in, welcome in. Everyone's being summoned in. <laughs> We've just beat G1. Um, we're probably, um, probably going to end not too long after this, but, um, but yes, thank you for the follow. But um, I'll be playing for a little bit and seeing because we just got more crab dinner. Oh, yeah, I also have the daily shell exchange, so don't forget to do that. You'll have to fight me. Uh, and pasta. <laughs> Check earlier too. Oh, redeem the um Belladonna, you should redeem the the my first bay. Then I'll accept it. I think uh, Ronnie didn't um, call upon the old bay, the My First Bay, earlier. I haven't done much with it yet. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with that. With them, um, whenever people come in first. <laughs> All right, what did I get? I got Enchant Scroll, Goddess. That's it. I was hoping for a little bit more, honestly. I was hoping they were gonna be alright, um Now there's so much stuff in my inventory. What am I doing now? Um, get paid. Oh, it sucks. The one, the one item that I saw, um, I, I, I've been having a hard time finding, um, things that would fit, uh, my look. And this is one of them, the turban shell helmet. I love the way this thing looks on... Um, from the wiki, but it's for elves only. So I'm like, ah, oh, that's the one item. That's the one helmet that kind of looks like my hair, but it's okay. I'll find something. This is working for now, though. This is always pretty good. Oh, um, actually, while you're here, Pasta, you, um, was it you that mentioned I could change... Um, my spirit weapons look and if so what's that item called again like this little light thing around me is really annoying but it's like a little like like spirit ball following me and it's really annoying
Who is this? This guy. Quilting. Can I put those away? Yes. Hey, but everyone, we are finished with G1. Um, in the meantime, I think we'll probably wait to get to, to do G2 to start it. Uh, but I could still... There's something I wanted to do. Fireball page one. Oh, okay, yeah, it's almost 5.30, so... Alrighty. Let's head over to... Where's it right? Uh, we're heading over to... Head over to the homestead real fast. Then do this, and then we'll call it after this.
All right, so I think we're gonna stream over to another Mobby. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Let's raid out over to Belladonna Nightshade. See, I see you over there, Pasta. And Belladonna. <laughs> I'm looking for Mobby streamers and there you are. Alright, but... But alright, everyone. Uh... But, uh, well, we'll head on out over to Belladonna Nightshade. Go and give them a follow. They were nice enough to come through and give me a follow. So, so definitely go join them. So, everyone, have yourselves a good night. And next time, we'll be coming back with um, G2. <gasps> Look at Blanet! So cute! Take a picture. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Mountain Dew Fueled Gaming Session. Your opportunity awaits.